Hey guys, Ponce here on the PBE with Yumi, the new champion which was just released. I'm just here to show you a preliminary uh, showcase of what her abilities do. Nothing too in-depth, just the basics. We're going to talk about uh, what the abilities actually do, the ratios, etc, etc. Um, so probably the best place to start with her kit is actually the W. You know, normally I start sequentially with the passive and all that. But her kit kind of revolves around the passive. So you actually start with one rank in this. I'm level 18, so you don't see this. But when you start the game at level 1, you get one rank in the W, which is, allows you to attach... Uh, leveling it increases the uh, amount of your AP that, um, that you, or basically, well, let me just read it. Passive Yumi and the ally she's attached to each gain 21% of each other's bonus AD or AP converted to adaptive force. So, uh, yeah, the way you use abilities, you just click on, just, I don't know, the ground, and you'll detach. Click on an ally, you'll attach them. You can just jump back and forth between allies at will, like so. And, uh, yeah, you start sharing AD and AP and stuff like that. So at max rank, you're getting, uh, or you're giving and getting 21% of that sort of adaptive force thing. Uh, so that's how that works there. The passive, passive is a bit more basic, kind of like the inverse of that whole, you know, when you auto-attack, you do extra damage thing. This one actually gives you a shield. And I actually already have the shield on me right now because I've attacked recently. So notice the shield is permanent until it breaks. Um, it's like, uh, as was mentioned earlier in my Twitch chat, like kind of like a Malphite shield. It will stick around. It's not time limited, so you don't have to like rush around saying, oh god, I gotta use my shield sort of thing. So you auto-attack, get a shield, get some mana back, and uh, yeah, the cooldown on it is 8 seconds. It does scale based on level because it is a passive, so at max rank it's 330 uh, and 160 mana. Okay, so next we have the Q. Which is, why don't I show you what it looks like? It's a basic line projectile when you're walking around doing nothing, like so. And after a second of travel, it gets like that. You, you kind of see how the projectile just changed. Regular projectile, super projectile. So in the last little bit, um, if you hit the people with the tip, basically, uh, you get a stronger version and it will slow. It actually buffs the damage quite a bit. So the baseline is 140 at max rank, uh, and uh, the empowered version is uh 260 and it has a uh, one or oh, sorry oh, an 80 percent slow over 1.5 seconds that's what i meant to say so the ap ratios are 0.3 for the shitty version and 0.6 for the empowered version now it changes quite a bit when you attach so let's go take a look at that here so when you attach it's just going to follow your mouse around like that which is kind of neat. It's not, you know, one-to-one, -one, so you can't just go and then it follows you, you know, all crazy-like. It is a bit slower, but it still feels relatively responsive. Um, it's fast now. I feel like it strikes a decent balance. You can kind of curve it like that and then still slam it back into a person like so. Um, now, if you, of course, if you move the mouse too fast, it'll start doing some wonky stuff and try and follow it as best it can, but it'll go off some, some weird directions. Uh, of course, it is much easier to get the empowered version when you're attached, because you have a, a ways. Oops, I accidentally hit a jungle creep there, so that's what happened to that one. Uh, anyway, so uh, next we have Zoomies. So this is the uh, the heal. So it's 60, at max rank, it's 65 to 130, um, based on how much you know, missing health the, the person you attach to has. And, uh, yeah, so it's not like a lot, but it also does give a... Um, uh, a bonus movement, this bonus speed, speed. God, I can't talk right now. It does give a uh, a boost to your movement speed. Now the AP ratios are for the crampy version of the heal, 0 0.1, 0 0.4 for the max version of the heal, and for every 10 AP you have, you will get 1% movement speed. So you can kind of like, oh, and of course it has two charges. You kind of like use it here. I use it on that ally. Jump to that one. Use it on that ally, uh, and then it starts going on cooldown. Okay, last thing we have our alt here. Uh, the alt is Yumi channels for 3.5 seconds, launching seven waves, dealing uh, at max rank 100 damage plus 0.2 AP ratio magic damage. Um, so each wave does that, but extra missiles deal 40% less damage. So it's 0.2 AP ratio on the initial hit, and then 40% less on every subsequent hit. If you want to, you know, figure out the exact math on what the AP ratio is, um, if you land every single thing, feel free to do that for yourself. I'm not doing it for you. Uh, champions hit by three or more waves are rooted for 1.75 seconds. So let me show you what that looks like here. Let's go. Clean shot. And there you go. 
Oh, of course, if this wasn't a dummy and was actually moving around, the you know the alt would keep shooting forward in like in the direction the, the character was moving. A little bit like a Lucian alt, I guess. So anyway, that's that. Let's just detach. Um, that is everything there. Um, nothing more really to show. Like I said, that's kind of the basics of her kit. I'm not saying that's all there is to the character, um, but uh, you'll be testing all that stuff out. Actual gameplay scenarios, etc., etc., on the channel, YouTube, or twitch.tv slash spons, and uh, more gameplay will be available here on YouTube shortly. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.